Welcome back to another video. Today is Thursday morning. I have been away. I didn't make a video for the past week or so. And I'm going to explain all of that later. But I had to rush home because my aunt was ill really sadly. She had to go into a hospital. And yeah, we were all quite worried. So I had to go back up to Scotland and spend a bit of time there. But it actually was so nice. We ended up just like, all, I mean, we went to the hospital quite a lot. But it was just quite nice like spending time with my mom and my brother and my sister and like my aunt and stuff so we had a really nice time back home and my aunt is doing a lot better which is really nice um so yeah sending lots of good wishes and love to her giving her a little shout out on my video because she mentioned that she would like one <laughs> um so yeah she's doing a lot better but thank you so much for all the nice messages just like wishing me well and stuff it was really nice i have a really busy weekend this weekend my sister is coming down to stay we're, I'm taking Friday and Monday off work and tomorrow night we're going to stay at the Ned, which is going to be so nice. I thought instead of, because we want to do a bit of a spa day, but spas in London are like extortionate, like £500 each. So I thought if we stay at the Ned, we can use the spa facilities and have some nice dinner and stuff and just like chill, get room service, do all those nice things. So we're going to do that on Friday. Then Saturday morning we check out, check out at 12, which I thought was pretty good actually. Um... And then we're going to go and get our nails done and do a bit of shopping on the Saturday. And then my sister's staying until Monday. So that's going to be so nice. I'm so looking forward to it. But wait till I show you the state of this house. Matt also got me some really lovely flowers when my aunt wasn't well last week. So, so sweet. Some nice tulips. Yeah, this is the state of the place right now. This is last night's dinner still out on the hob. I'm going to have a fun evening of cleaning. I need to do a food shop, so I'll do a little food haul for you. And then I've also got to show you some bits from Amazon that I picked up like last week, but I've obviously not been here to use them. So yeah, I'm going to take you to work with me and then I will show you all those bits later and cook some dinner with you and just have like a usual chatty, nice vlog. So I'm just in from work. It was a good day at the office. I feel so happy the fact that I've got four days off. I feel like I really needed it. I feel very stressed out with work at the minute and just like I feel like a lot of stuff is just getting on top of me. So it's going to be really nice to spend some time with my sister this weekend. On my way home from work, I picked up some bits in Sainsbury's because I thought I would show you guys my prawn stew that I'm going to make for dinner with some crusty bread. So Here's the ingredients that I got. Two bags of prawns. These are uncooked large raw king prawns. You get quite a few in a bag. We use about a bag and a half between us because women need a lot of protein, like a lot more than I ever thought that we need. So I like to like beef up the prawns and just, yeah, use a bunch of them. So I use them. Then I got the Muti tomato puree, which is amazing for like sauces and pastas. It makes it like really tasty and just really good. Then I got two tins of tomatoes. These were both on special with a nectar card. So I got finely chopped tomatoes and then just peeled plum. I think they're plum tomatoes. And you just basically like thingy them away anyway in, in the pan, just like break them down. I got a large garlic, cannellini beans, trying to get some more like protein and I don't know what these are in terms of food groups, but 
they're good for you. So I thought I'd put them in there. I then picked up some coffee. I have never heard of this one. I'm just gonna try it. It's called Union. And I always look out for these great taste logos because I feel like they're actually pretty accurate. Anything that's got great taste, I'm actually, it tends to be pretty good. So this is, oh, this is the cafetiere grind, which is not what I need for my coffee machine, but I'm sure it'll be all right. Hope it's not too fine for the coffee. Like, is it gonna fall into my cup? I hope not. Then I got some bread, a harvest seeded batch. I went through such a phase of loving the Jason sourdough, but it's just too small. Like I can't make a sandwich with it because the bread is like that size. So yeah, I just stick to my usual like wholemeal granary bread. And then for our little stew, I got some sourdough. So I'm gonna toast this and then kind of tear it up and then we dip it in the stew and it's so yummy. I think you guys are gonna like this recipe. And then the final thing that I picked up is some milk. This lasts so long, by the way. The sell-by date on this is 11th of May. It's one of these like fresher for longer filtered, but it's like cold, you know? I feel a bit icky about having milk that's like sh on a shelf. I don't think I would like that, but I don't mind having, yeah, long life milk if it's in the fridge. Also, I've just seen on the TV there like a second ago. Well, you'll know the time that I'm filming this. There's like horses let loose in London at the minute that are like charging around and they were like part of Buckingham, I don't know, there was something going on at Buckingham Palace and four horses were like scared and have just been running loose and one of them's like covered in blood, it's quite sad. I think they've been quite badly injured. I think it got hit by a bus. So yeah, that's just on the news just now, I'm like pretty sad. I'm gonna quickly get sorted and clear the space and then I'm gonna cook dinner with you guys. been watching baby reindeer it's the latest thing on netflix that we have like a bit of a hyper fixation on literally mental like so crazy and i didn't realize until recently that uh martha and him are real people and it's a true story and he is a, the main guy who's the actor is actually the guy who experienced this whole crazy stalker thing um if you haven't watched it i would highly re highly recommend it's a bit mental and it's all true and really sad actually like it's a bit crazy that one guy went through so much um but it's very well shot and produced and like just really good tv and you they're like 30 minute episodes as well which i love because a lot of tv shows these days are not are too long for my attention span <laughs> also another thing one of my subscribers actually mentioned when i was asking about podcasts i need to tell everyone about this and i've been telling literally every single person her name is Nikkel's Nook. I will link her channel below. She actually has quite a few subscribers and she makes amazing videos about reading. Like she's kind of on booktube side of YouTube and she got me back into like reading a few months ago. And she, yeah, I just love her videos, she's really cool. Anyway, she recommended a podcast called Other People's Lives and it is the most mental podcast I have ever listened to ever. Um, it's basically just two guys who seem really cool, actually really nice. And they are just interviewing people with from all different walks of life who have like, who are into different things, who've had like crazy experiences. So a couple of them, like there was one that was like, oh, my mum murdered my brother, which I haven't listened to yet. There was one that was like my, I've been having an affair with my best friend's wife. And this guy has been, had been having an affair with his best friend's wife for like, I think like years. And it, it's, people just come on the show and like talk really freely about, it's like an, an an anonymous like hotline sort of thing. A few of their episodes are like people calling up, but yeah, it's it's so fascinating. There's a lot on like different fetishes and stuff, which is absolutely like mental. Like the most out there things you can imagine, like people drinking blood and stuff. Like it's such a wild podcast where you literally are like, wow, I can't believe people are first of all openly talking about some of these things. Like some of them are like really not good things, i.e., sleep cheating with cheating on your best friend. Um, and then some of them are just fascinating where you're like, wow, I would like never have imagined that people out there are like doing things like this. So yeah, I would really recommend that podcast. Like it was such a shocker, but really fascinating. 
um, there's a few on there that I'm like, well, I feel a bit queasy after listening to that or like I kind of have switched off halfway through, but it's just like completely fascinating. If you're intrigued by people's lives and like different people's stories, then it's one to give a listen to. Okay, so I'm gonna start cooking dinner. Um, I have all my ingredients here. I don't know if they're in shot or not, but I'm gonna start by sh shopping up. I'm gonna start by chopping up two shallots. I started getting these just because they're a lot smaller than onions and I never tend to use like the whole onion and then I always feel like I've always got a random half an onion in my fridge that's just hanging around with no purpose and getting mouldy. Also, I picked up this really sweet card for my sister's birthday. She's coming down this weekend, obviously, as I've mentioned like five times, but her birthday is actually not for like a couple of weeks. So I thought I would give her this when she comes down this weekend. It's so cute. So the shallots are all chopped up. This is roughly how much you need. I always find a visual aid is always helpful when, when cooking because so many recipes are in like cups or ounces or her, all these different measurements and it's difficult to translate them. So I feel like a visual a visual um, look at things really helps. So that's the onions, not onions, that's the shallots. Now I'm gonna chop up, I think I'm gonna do like eight cloves of garlic because we love garlic. Also, some of these come off like straight away. I didn't even have to peel that. I just pulled it out and it came off. Oh, it's growing, it's like sprouting something, which is lovely. So yeah, my aunt is doing a lot better in hospital now, thank God. She really gave us all such a fright. We were so worried about her. Um, and that's why I went home for a while. I just needed to see her and like make sure my mum was okay and stuff. So. We had a nice time at home, but it was quite sad and like quite stressful because we were thinking, is she going to be okay? And like up at the hospital a lot. I've got quite a close family. Well, I've got a really close family actually. And um, yeah, she's doing so much better, which is really good. So I came back to London feeling quite pleased. Um, I wasn't like, I'm not too stressed. I feel like she's going to be okay, which is nice. This garlic is really easy to peel. Also, I really wanted to show you a few bits that I picked off from Amazon. I have the package here. I feel like Matt's gonna get in a min in a minute and start creating noise and rustling around. So I might just quickly show you that and then come back to my chopping. Actually, I have it right here. So let me show you. So I picked up, my hair is very fine. And for a long time, I was using the Living Proof shampoo and conditioner and it's really good. And I did really like it, but I got such a big bottle that I felt like it stopped working after a while. Um, this is Matt coming in the door now. So I picked up the Redkin Volume Injection Shampoo and Conditioner. I think these, these were kind of expensive. They were around, I think they were like £12 each um, and they're not the biggest bottles. I did expect they were going to be a little bit bigger, but they are for, they're lightweight and volumizing for fine, flat or processed hair. And they're supposed to be really good and they actually smell amazing. I smelled them when I got them and yeah, they smell really good. So I'll let you know how I get on with them. Then I picked up a knife sharpener. You know, when you get on Amazon, you just start adding things to your basket and you're like, I don't even know if I need all of this stuff, but stuff kept popping up. And I was like, actually, let me get some of that and some of that. We really need a knife sharpener because my brother got us these really nice knives from ProCook for our Christmas present to me and Matt. And they've started to go a little bit blunt. So I just wanted to get one of these that you just basically slide the knife in to sharpen it. I've seen people do the ones with the big, you know, I don't know what it is. It's a big like chopstick looking thing and you kind of like file it. But my dad, if ever anyone remembers, like my brother and sister, I mean, my dad had a bit of an incident with one of those and he almost cut his hand off after he sharpened a knife so sharp. So I thought I would just stick to a safe one. So yeah, I picked this up. This was like a few quid. Who knows if it'll even work? Maybe I'll try and do it later. Oh, these bits I'm excited for. Okay. So these were the bits I was mostly excited for and why I made the order. I picked up some of the Sally Hansen Hard as Na Advanced Hard as Nails um, nail strengthener. This stuff is really good. I've used it for years. My mum's always had a bottle of it in her little nail polish kit. And I remembered how good it was and I thought I would pick up one of these. Then I also, you're in my way. <laughs> so Matt's rustling around, but if we could just forgive him for that. I also picked up the Sally Hansen cuticle oil. This is really good and it doesn't feel too oily. It doesn't cover your hands in 
too much oil so because i actually put a little bit on earlier but yeah it's pretty good so i would recommend that and then this is the one that i was waiting for and i was so excited for this is the instant cuticle remover so you basically paint this on your cuticles leave it for 15 minutes and then apparently they just scrape off and dissolve so that's going to be really cool to try yeah eliminates cuticles in 15 seconds did i say 15 minutes i don't know um but yeah this is supposed to be really good so i'll let you know how i get on with that and then the final thing actually this could be a job for you matt while i'm doing my cooking what do you mean uh, i got two of these actually we're gonna need something else what are they they are the bobbles that go around the blinds so like the little metal pulley things for the blinds so that they will work again because the one in the bedroom i hate having to stand on yeah. the chair so will you go and try and fix one and throw it to me then wait are they on this yeah just open them you'll, you'll figure it out so yeah that's everything i picked up from amazon i feel like that was a really successful little haul depending on how the, these products work but I'm now going to chop these garlic cloves into tiny little pieces. Not tiny little pieces. I'm going to chop them into small chunks and then put them through the garlic press. Okay, so dinner is served. While Matt is buttering the bread, I'm just going to quickly tell you what I did. Why are you out of bread? I'm crazy. Why? Why are you out of bread? It's very steamy in here while we're, because I've just been cooking. So soften just the shallots. <laughs> so soften the shallots in a frying pan with some oil, some salt and pepper, some fennel seeds if you like to add them and some chili flakes and then let them get really soft and then add the garlic you don't want to burn the garlic then you add some tomato puree let that fry off a little bit and then add your prawns beans uh tinned tomatoes cannellini beans, cannellini beans. beans. nobody would ever think it was baked beans also are you okay there with that butter well this is why you get the bread hot because the butter is not you can have that piece anyway this is what dinner looks like I added a little bit of olive oil and it all kind of swims around the edges and it's delicious and we're going to dip some butter in. Do you want to do a little taste test? We have a little battle, battle? We have a little battle of the prawn stews because it's my original recipe and then Matt made it and he did a really good job one yeah. time. So now this was my third attempt. Mm. Is it really good? Mm. We also used a nor stock, stock pot instead of a bouillon yeah, that's stock nice. we'll that's see. another thing you add we'll is some stock there. and yeah you just kind of eyeball it and you mm. end up with this is it really nice no. yay and we're gonna watch red eye which is a new tv series on is it on itv there's some parsley and stuff up there if you want some is yeah oh uh, i need some more so yeah we're gonna enjoy this and eat dinner i still need to fake tan and do some other bits tonight so the vlog is not ending here thank you my darling it's a bit later now. I've just been chilling on the sofa. I watched some of that Red Eye movie, not movie, TV show, and I'm not really into it, so I gave up. And then I scrolled on my phone for like an hour, and now I just realise it's like half nine. I haven't done my tan. I haven't taken my makeup off, taken my makeup off. So I thought I'd just do it on camera with you now. I'm gonna cleanse with the, the La Roche-Posay 
cleansing melt just to like properly take all of any residue off my face before I tan and I've got some new tan lux products to show you. So I'm going to take a few pumps of this and just put it. I'm so happy that I don't have work tomorrow. You know when you just have a break and you're like, oh, I really needed this break. This is how I feel about this weekend. My sister just FaceTimed me as well and asked me what I'm wearing over the weekend so we can coordinate outfits. I'm just rubbing this in. I need to be really careful of my eyes because this stuff is strong and a bit scary. I've had it in my eyes before and it literally burned me, but it really gets your makeup off. And then I'm gonna wash it off with my flannel. Now that my face is properly cleansed, that La Roche-Posay stuff really takes like all makeup off your skin. I have these two Tan Lux products. So they're both from the Hyaluronic Self Tan range. And I thought I would just try these out today. I feel like they're going to be really good. The Anna Edit absolutely loves the Tan Lux Hyaluronic range. So let's give it a go. I'm going to put on the tanning drops first. And the instructions, this packaging feels really expensive and nice. Like these feel like really good quality products and they're well vouched for. I don't know anybody that doesn't like these. It says to use between four and 12 drops and then it kind of develops based on how much you use. One pipette full. I don't know what the difference is between the stuff that's in the bottle for your face and the stuff that's in the bottle for your body, but there must be some. It actually feels like a hydrating serum that I'm putting on. It doesn't feel like tan which is good. I also like that it doesn't say to mix with moisturiser because sometimes I feel like you could really dilute the tan when you do that. I'm actually getting my hair cut tomorrow and I'm going to vlog tomorrow so you'll see all of that probably on Wednesday. And then now I'm going to go in with this one which is, it says basically the same thing. The pump is, oh it, lo it looks like it's leaked a little bit. The pump is like this and you just kind of go straight in and then rub it all over the body. But I'm gonna go off camera and do that now and then come back and chat to you. I just got finished, I just got finished. I just finished up doing my tan and I've gotten into bed. I feel so cozy now. It's actually like four degrees tonight, so it's been absolutely freezing. But I just finished up doing all my tan and I love those tan lux drops. If the tan works out well in the morning, then it's gonna be my new go-to because the serum went on on the body like a proper like face serum it feels like it's just totally like not blended in what's this what's the saying soaked into the skin um it was really easy to apply and it's not sticky at all it just feels like i'm hydrated and got my pjs on rather than like a full body of tan but let's see what the color turns out like because that is the most important bit i'll give you an update in the next video that you see from me i thought i would just get into bed and start reading this again this is a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass i've heard so many good things about it i think i'm sure i mentioned this before in one of my, my previous videos but i started reading this probably a couple of weeks ago now maybe like a month ago but i read about between i can't remember exactly how many but between like 10 and 50 pages maybe like 30 pages i don't know but I got a lot of fairies and sci-fi vibes going on. Is it sci-fi? It's like wolves and stuff. Wolves are not sci-fi. Wolves exist in real life. But you know what I mean? It was kind of like whimsical, let's say. Um, but everyone loves this book and says it's really, really good. I also think it's a little bit raunchy. A few people have actually said. Um, but I know that Sophia from The Girls' Bathroom loves it. And so does Emma from Emma's Rectangle. So I thought I would give it a go and yeah, see what all the hype is about. So I'm going to continue with it and see how I get on. Um, and I'll keep you updated. Maybe I'll become one of these people that's like in the, what do they call it? Akatar, Akatar cult. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching if you managed to get to the end of it. And also for all the lovely comments this week. It's been so lovely to see so many nice comments from people and just like well wishes and you know, hoping that I'm okay and everything. So thank you for all the concern and yeah, lovely messages. I will have another video for you on Wednesday and it will be off tomorrow, my fun day with my sister. Bye.